praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today. Thursday, the 4th of July, 2024. I'm carrying the magic code on. Open Heavens is authored by Adadin the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you for bringing your word to us again. Thank you for your faithfulness over our lives. Father, I will say, blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I will pray that the sweet Holy Spirit will be big in us today, O Lord, that it will make the word simple. He will, the sweet Holy Spirit will give us understanding of your word, transform our lives, and draw us closer to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today's topic is, He shall laugh. He shall laugh. And our memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm 2, verse 4. He that seated in heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. He that seated in heaven sh shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of Psalm 37, verse 12 to 13. Psalm 37, verse 12 to 13. The wicked plot against the godly. They must, they snail at them in defiance, but the Lord shall laugh, for he sees their day of judgment coming. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The message, as God is seated in heaven, he controls everything on earth, because the earth is his footstool. Isaiah 66 verse 1. In Psalm 2 verse 1 to 4, the Bible says that when enemies try to deal with the anointed of God, he that sits in heaven shall laugh. In other words, when someone threatens a believer, God laughs at the person. If someone says that you are not going to be promoted, he that sits in heaven laughs. This is because promotion comes neither from the east nor west, but from God alone. Psalm 75 verse 6 to 7 If a doctor says your case is hopeless, he that sits in heaven shall laugh because he already settled your healing thousands of years ago by his stripes. Isaiah 53 verse 5. If anybody tells you that you will not be successful in life, he that sits in heaven shall laugh because the Trinity 28 verse 13 says that you shall be above only and not beneath. While God is laughing at every evil intentions of the devil, over your life, you should not be crying, rather, you should be praising him. Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew 6 verse 27, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto your stat to his stature? Your worry will not solve adverse situations. When God is laughing, you should be laughing too. You should be mocking the mockers and standing on the ever sure word of God, knowing fully well that your case is already settled in God. Don't cry like people who have no hope. You are a child of the King of Kings. Your father owns the earth and all the fullness. Psalm 24 verse 1. So there is nothing you need that is beyond your reach. Amen. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, in prayer and in supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. When you make your request known to God, do so with thanksgiving. Don't come to Him as if you have no hope. James 1 6 7 says that if you come to Him without faith, you should not even think of receiving anything from him. Since Hebrews 11 verse 1 tells us that faith is the evidence of things hopeful, then you must come with thanksgiving knowing fully well that your requests are already granted. This is the right state of a true believer. He or she does not live in fear but in faith because of the consciousness of how big and powerful God is. Is praise to Lord, hallelujah. Today we are looking at He shall laugh. Yes, 
when the enemy is telling us things that is a that negates the word of God, that is against the word of God. So we will laugh because our God is laughing because he knows that his word will still stand sure that his thought towards us will come to fulfillment. Praise to Lord. If we look at that Bible passage, he said the wicked plot against the godly. They snare at them in defense, but the Lord just laughs for he sees their day of judgment coming. He looks at the plot that the enemy has done and he's laughing because he's an all-powerful God, because he would turn that their wickedness, he would turn it around, you know, he would destroy it and nullify it on our behalf. The Bible says surely they will gather, but because they are not of God, what happens? If every of their gathering, every of their gender, every of their plan will be scattered. And also very importantly, because for children of God, what are we supposed to do? And we are told today that because God is laughing, at the foolishness of, of the wicked ones concerning us, as the foolishness of the one oppressing us. Because why, like we have been told, that we should, as children of God, we should be conscious of how big and powerful our God is. And that is why when God is laughing at the foolishness of the wicked, you know, at the weakness of the wicked, we also should mock them. We should also laugh. But then when we are laughing, we should ensure that we are standing on what? On that sure word of God. On the promise that God has made concerning us. Like we are told, if anybody says, yes, you will not be promoted. Does promotion comes from him? No. Promotion, promotion comes from no man but from God. So God is just laughing at the foolishness of whoever is saying that. And you and I too. We are to stand on the word of God that says promotion, promotion comes from our Lord. We should be rest assured. The Bible says that, that we should come to him. He says, be careful for nothing. But, by, but, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known. Praise to the Lord. Because you are serving the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Who is able to grant every of our desires? Who there is nothing impossible for? Who there is nothing that we want that he cannot, that he does not have the capacity to do? So when men are saying there's a casting down concerning your life, concerning your health, concerning your business, concerning your family, concerning your marriage, all you have to do is laugh because you have the word of God. You are standing on that sure word of God. You know, that is able to silence every plan and agenda of the kingdom of darkness. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are told today that rather than we crying and doing a pity party, that we should come boldly to God. We shouldn't come crying, but we should come standing upon that sure word of God. Praise the Lord. Knowing fully well. That our case is already settled in Christ. Praise the Lord. The like we are told today says, don't cry. People who have no, don't cry like people who have no hope. Because you are a child of the king of kings. Your father owns the earth and all its fullness. So there is nothing you need that is beyond his reach. So if men are threatening you, know that no matter what they have that they might be using to threaten you. The one that owns the heaven and earth will give you all that you need and even much more. So we should rest upon this like we have been told that, that faith is the evidence of things hoped for. So when you are coming to God, you are coming with thanksgiving. You are coming standing upon his word, knowing fully well that he that has promised, he will fulfill his words concerning your word. Like he says, none of his word will return to him, no and word, but it will accomplish that which he had, which he had, had been sent for. So lay hand on the word of God. If anybody is telling you anything otherwise, God is laughing. And you too, you should laugh. Look at the word that God has said to you concerning that situation and rest upon him and rejoice in it and stay Stand upon the word of God and see how God moves and bring his word to fulfillment in your life. Praise 
ye the Lord. Hallelujah. The key point says, when God is laughing at your enemies, you should not be trembling before them. You should be praising him and laughing too. Why? Because the word of God concerning our situation, concerning that situation is already there for you. It's just for you to hold on to that word which is the word of God. The Bible says you will shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what men have said concerning you. I don't know what how life is treating you. But hold on to the word of God. He says, I know the thought that I think towards you. You are the thought of good and not of evil to take you to an expected end. And do you know that for every thought of good that God has had for us, thought of fruitfulness, thought of supernatural provisions, thought of progress, the, everything is wrapped up in the word of God. There is a word for you today. Hold on to that word. Go to God, thanking him for that word and watch him move concerning your life. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that even as we laugh at our enemies, that the Lord will cancel every of their agenda concerning us and give us victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.